And for a Democratic reaction to tonight's speech, we go live now to Washington, D.C. That is where we find ABC 12's Jacqueline Paula Castro. She's standing by now with a very familiar face. Jacqueline. Yeah, Congressman Dan Kildee definitely is a very, very familiar face. Congressman, you actually have some interesting news. After the speech, something happened. Tell me about yeah, it. Yeah, I had a chance to speak directly with the president, and uh, we discussed the case of Amir Hekmati, my constituent from Flint, who's been held in Iran in prison. I've talked to the president about this before, and he reassured me that, you know, they continue to press, the administration continues to press for his release. So that that's important to him, it's important to the family, and I was glad that the president reassured us of that. The president said this is going to be a year of action. What's the reality of getting some of this done, the political reality, things like extending unemployment benefits? Well, it's something we have to do, and the president's right. Uh, he's frustrated. The American people are frustrated. This has been the least productive Congress in history, and so when he calls for a year of action, I think it's a challenge to Congress that we can't have unemployment extended unless Congress acts. We can't raise the minimum wage unless Congress acts. He's frustrated, so am I, and I think uh, his, his call for action is the right is the right message. You mentioned Congress acting, but the president actually said he's willing to go it alone without Congress in some cases. Right. Do you think that's really the best sort of sentiment moving into this next year? Well, you know, the president has executive authority and he should use it. He was elected by the American people not to just be a bystander, but to use the power that is vested in him. Congress has its own responsibilities, but we can't be in a position where we prevent him from taking the action that the Constitution grants him to take. He's a leader and he should lead. Well, Congressman Dan Kelty, thanks so much for your time tonight. And again, some uh, exciting news for you speaking right. to the president just after his speech. So the president's fifth State of the Union address. Now we'll have to wait to see if his agenda will actually be implemented. Back to you.